This is Justin Case of America Newscape. Please join Linda Summers and myself, providing another glimpse into the Great Awakening. Hello, Linda. Welcome to America Newscape. And Linda's here to talk about making every effort to be in the moment. Hi, thanks for having me. Glad to be here. Yes, um, making every moment count and living in the moment is so important. I mean, really, all we have is the moment. We don't have anything else. The past is the past, the future is the future, and right here, right now. And it's really hard because of the situation that we're in for people to really be in the moment and say, okay, how can I be in the moment when I got to think about, you know, how am I going to have to get a job? How am I going to pay my rent? How am I going to pay my bills? And, you know, and just the past. So it's so important that we um, ask ourselves in this moment, right? Do I have everything I need? This is something that I used in my own life that I thought was very, very beneficial is do I have everything I need in this moment? Do I have a house over my head or a roof over my head? Because, you know, some people are living with other people, you know, just basically do you have a roof over your head, food, you know, a vehicle or some sort of transportation? Am I able to walk? And if you've answered yes to all of those, right, you just keep asking yourself those questions. It, it brings a sort of peace over you. You know, and there's some people that I've talked to and it's like, well, what if this happens? What if the, you know, the worst thing can happen? Well, then you can use those scenarios too. I've used those as well. What if I ended up on the street? What if I didn't have a place to live? Or what if I didn't have any food? And then from the last show that we did about, I had talked a little bit about truth and not a little bit, but I talked a lot about truth is that when you're asking yourself these, this self, this question, when you go to this, what if, well, what if I enter the street or what if I don't have any food? I've always asked myself, is that the truth? And I've always heard, no, that's not the truth because we know people, there's organizations that can help us. So if we're always looking to the, what if, cause you can also say, well, what if I find the perfect home? What if I, you know, end up getting a check in the mail from some person, you know, in my family that died or whatever, God forbid that happens. But, you know, what if I end up getting, this, uh, you know, money in the mail? So it's better to ask those what if questions, you know, that are more of the positive because during this time, especially living in the moment, how we are vibrationally is going to help the planet and help us get to where we need to go on this path. As I said, from the very first show, The Great Awakening, it's, it's what we think, what we feel, you know, our thoughts that we're not even saying that is going to raise the vibration. So as long as you have your vibration raised, right, on a positive level and always thinking positive, then we can head in that direction that we want to head in. And your life can go in that, uh, that direction. And as I said in my last show, is that what you are putting out there, your, how you're viewing the outside world, unless you go in and do the inside work, you're going to experience that. So what you're putting out there verbally, non-verbally, all of that is going to come back to you. So we are co-creators and we are creating our world personally, but we're also creating the world collectively. So it is really important to, and, and like I said, I found those in my own life and going through my own experiences to use those. And it's been very, very beneficial. Very. Wow. Wow. Well, you know, the future is not promised to us. So how can we make every moment count given the situations we are in? Well, I think that given the fact that what you're doing in the moment, um, whether it being if, you know, if you're living with someone and you have your children at home of being with them, being and doing things and finding out about that other person, because as I said in the very first show, um, that we tend to be so busy that we don't even know ourselves. We don't even know our children. I mean, we know them, but not to the depths that we could. So by taking this opportunity to really be in that moment and just stopping doing what you're doing and just sitting down and engaging in a conversation with that person and finding more out about them. Because I think that our children and our loved ones and our family I mean, we can do this through FaceTime, through Skype as well, since we're in self-isolation, is inquiring into them and asking questions that we never found the opportunity because we were always so busy doing, 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 and never being, and never being in this moment and honoring the sacredness of this moment because this moment is only all we have, 
we don't have we don't even know what the next moment's going to bring you know and so if we can remember to be here in the now right and bring ourselves centered into this moment right that i'm here right now with you doing the show my mind is nowhere else it is right here with you and the viewers right and so that's i'm in the moment and so when we're not in the moment we know we're not in the moment because we're thinking about the future we're think we're re remembering the past we're you know thinking about the future it's like okay i gotta go to the grocery store well now we can't do that but you know we're thinking about all these different things right so we're not in the moment that's how you're going to know you're not in the moment when you're in the moment you're with that person and that person feels you being in the moment and if you are by yourself then this is a perfect opportunity to be in the moment with yourself and as i said in the last show is to you know go in and ask yourself am i really happy with my life is my life going in the direction that i really wanted to go in and my values my beliefs and really going inward to honoring your body the legs that you have to walk the hands the just your body in itself that you are here you are alive on this earth you know being a part of this whole magnificent experience i mean i've waited all my life for this experience to happen that what we're going through now i look at it as a great opportunity to head in a direction that is so beneficial for all of us including myself because i'm a part of the, all of this well, so it's yeah. very important to live in the moment. well yeah mm -hmm. the the people that want to say it is what it is they need to realize that what it is is very beautiful onto itself and uh yes linda what would you like to leave us with today i would say that we have children our children are going to have children what are you going to do to make this world a better place to leave for our children because they're the future and what we do today and what we do in this moment affects like i said the collective it affects the whole it's going to affect our children and so I think it's really important to go back in, do the self-discovery journey, be in the moment and decide, what are you gonna do? How are you going to respond as opposed to reacting what's happening in the world and go in and do that inner journey and find that peace within yourself so that you don't have to be affected by what the outside's going on because our future is our children and our children's children. So what are you gonna leave them? That would be my message. Wow. Okay. This has been Justin Case and Linda Summer sharing a glimpse into the Great Awakening. Thanks for joining us. Please remember additional information and links are provided in the videos. Read more. And take some time to support humanity everywhere. Please consider subscribing to this channel. channel. Thank you, Linda. Thank you.